Let's have a little bit of fun with this one. This is 12 annoying things that your coworker does at work. And if you're sitting there saying, hey, wait a minute, I don't think I have an annoying coworker that does all these things, you're probably the annoying coworker. Hey everybody, it's Brian from A Life After Layoff, and today I want to share with you a little bit more of a lighthearted video about things that annoying coworkers tend to do in an office or workplace setting. And chances are you've encountered an annoying coworker or two along the way, and they all seem to have similar characteristics. Really, the moral of this whole story is don't be the annoying coworker because nobody wants to work around that. But before we get too far into it, if you're interested in more career content just like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Or alternatively, find a small YouTuber that's trying to make good content and give them a sub because they sure would appreciate that support. And I also just created a new account over on TikTok, and I would love to see you there. You can find me at the handle A Life After Layoff. But in the spirit of self-awareness and and lightheartedness, let's hop into some of those things right now. So the first annoying type of coworker is that one that overdresses for the role. Everybody knows the type, it's a business casual or a casual setting, and they show up clearly overdressed for the role. Maybe they're wearing a suit, a tie, or they're wearing a fancy dress, and we all know why they're doing it. Essentially, they're just trying to suck up to the boss, trying to get a leg up and impress all the powers that be to land them that big promotion. But it's irritating to the rest of the coworkers because they make no attempt to fit in and be part of the broader team. And if you show up in a suit and tie, we're just going to assume that you're interviewing for another job. Now, this next one is something that everybody has experienced in their career. You're sitting there working diligently at your desk, at your cubicle, and across the way, you have that annoying coworker speaking extremely loudly on the phone as if nobody else exists in the office. And not only are they not self-aware, but they interrupt everybody else around them and you can't get on the phone yourself if you need to make an important call. And I once had a coworker that was an awful offender and when we would do interviews, we would typically excuse ourselves to a side room or a conference room in order to take the call. Not this guy. He would sit there one cubicle away from me talking loudly about compensation expectations and all the behavior-based questions so that everybody on the entire floor knew what position he was recruiting for, who he was talking to, and what that person's salary expectation was. So please, don't be that guy. And the next trait that an annoying coworker has is that they tend to leave the office space a mess, in particular the break room and or the bathroom. So we all know the type. You go into the break room to make yourself a cup of coffee and it looks like somebody was there just before you. And they've left creamer and sugar all over the countertop and didn't even bother to wipe it down. And not only is it rude and considerate to the person who's coming in after them, but it's also rude to the people that they expect to clean up after them. And even though there's a cleaning crew that comes in at the end of the night, it's not their job to pick up after your mess. The same thing goes through the bathroom. I'm sure every single one of you watching this has walked into a stall after one of your coworkers used it, looked down and just backed yourself right back out again. And let's face it, some people are just disgusting. The next one could take place in the break room as well, or it could take place in the cafeteria or some other meeting room, but it's when there's company catered food and you get that one person who decides to hoard. And you know the scenario, there's usually enough donuts, pizza, or sandwiches to go around for everybody, but you have that one coworker who decides to take three or four times their amount and leave somebody at the end of the line without anything to eat. And it's super inconsiderate and usually that same person scurries off to their little cubicle and buries themselves like a mole while they feed their face. So please be considerate of everybody else and only take your fair share. Now, chances are if you're somebody that's hoarding the food, you're also gonna be guilty of the next one. And that's the person who decides to eat too loudly or slurp their food so that everybody else can hear it. They may also be one of those double dippers or even worse, somebody that cooks the really smelly food and stinks up the entire floor. Trust me, nobody wants to smell your two day old sauerkraut and pork leftovers. All right, so the next one can factor into a toxic work culture, but it's the person who's the incessant gossip. Every workforce has at least one of them. If your workforce doesn't have one, it's probably you. If you're not sure where to find them, go look at the water cooler or in the break room, because that's usually where they loiter. Or they're always at somebody's cubicle, unsolicited and chatting down at them. But the gossip's reputation always precedes them, so I would caution you to not allow them to come loiter at your desk. Because the chances are, if they are a gossip, they're gonna do the next thing that's annoying is they're gonna go behind your back and tattle on you to the boss. And nothing is more annoying than not being able to resolve a work issue with somebody because you never had the opportunity to begin with. So having coworkers go around your back and go straight to your boss for things that they should be going directly to you for is also extremely annoying. And the next annoying trait is somebody that slacks. And this is especially annoying if you're relying on them to do their job so that you can do yours. 
you usually find them screwing around or always out taking a cigarette break. And I remember in high school, I used to work in a retail bakery and it was a person that I always had to take over from at the end of their shift and they never cleaned up after themselves. And I had to essentially start my shift by picking up after them. And then I had to end my shift by doing the same thing so that I could leave at the end of the night. And it was always super annoying. All right, so the next one is closely related to the person who overdresses. This is the person who always sucks up to the boss. You're probably the teacher's pet in school and it carried over to the workforce. And the funny thing is, is they never seem to truly get ahead by sucking up to the boss, but everybody knows knows who the suck up is in the workplace and everybody thinks it's annoying. All right, so the next one is kind of related to the slacker. It's the person who's never willing to pitch in when things get hectic. If you're in a situation where you're in over your head or maybe you need some coverage for some time off and they never seem to be available to help you, it's pretty annoying. Because in the workplace setting, we all try to get each other's backs and it's just common courtesy. But that one always seems to be the last person to arrive and the first person to leave at the end of the shift. On the flip side of gossip, there's also the person who is perennially complaining. It's human nature to want to gripe about your work situation because it's something that you spend so much of your day doing. But the person who's always negative tends to bring the rest of the people down with them. And so if you find yourself constantly complaining, maybe you need to reevaluate the type of work that you're doing. Or at the very least, maybe the company's not the right fit for you. But either way, too much of the complaining and you're gonna start noticing that nobody wants to hang out with you at work. All right, so that brings us to the last annoying trait on today's list. And that is the person who is always doing personal things on company time, whether it's being constantly on their phone, taking personal phone calls, being on Facebook, or doing all of their online shopping on the job. And the reason why it's annoying is when you're completely buried at work and you're staring over at your coworker who's completely slacking and doing all this personal stuff, it is pretty grating because if you're the type of person that doesn't take your work seriously and does everything you can to avoid actually working, it's gonna affect the people around you. And it's gonna inevitably have to make them work harder to pick up the slack. So be a good coworker and try to be conscientious at work. This list was meant to be a little fun, so take it for what it's worth, but I'm sure you've encountered some of these people at work yourself. If I missed any of those annoying traits, feel free to leave a comment below. Be curious to hear what they are. And like always, if you found value in this video, we'd love a thumbs up because that really does help the algorithm get this message out to a broader audience. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.